Las Vegas is a city known for gambling, entertainment, and fun, but it's quickly becoming the center of the autonomous driving universe. We're here at the Nevada Highway Patrol, a place I don't really want to visit, but this is their traffic management center, and this is where they control the traffic lights and monitor them, and there's a lot of data going back and forth. Now, Audi is a car company that, since 2011, they were the first premium brand to have a presence at the Consumer Electronics Show. And now they have an even bigger presence. They rolled out 3G and then 4G LTE, and all that technology is starting to work with these traffic lights, and we're gonna walk you through it. So we're just driving down a straight road here. I see a traffic light way up ahead, and it is red. Nothing is coming up yet. I can't tell you exactly how far it is, about three quarters of a mile. The information is being displayed on the head-up display as well as in the virtual cockpit in the lower right-hand side. The light's red. I'm still approaching. Okay, now I got the information. 60 seconds before the light changes. Now it's down to 55 seconds. So we have six seconds, five, four, and then it goes away. I could definitely see the usefulness of this. I don't think it's mandatory. I think most people should just drive and pay attention, but they have the information, they're able to do it, so why not incorporate it into their cars? You might be able to save some fuel because what they're telling us is that by knowing when the light's gonna turn red, uh, you can take your time and not rush up to the light or try and beat it. Over the past five years, Audi has clearly demonstrated they are one of the leaders in the auto industry when it comes to autonomous driving. Guys, we've seen this in many cars, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, and now this uh, vehicle to infrastructure technology. If you just look at this as a standalone feature, I, I could see your skepticism. But remember, this is just one piece of the puzzle in the autonomous driving. And as the 2017 CES show approaches, we expect to see more technology for more manufacturers. I'm Ron Dorn. We'll see you next time on The Driver's Seat.